Hi, I'm Dr. DeMichael, one of the Portland OBGYN doctors, and I want to show you a new tour of our clinic. We've been working really hard for the past few months renovating our new clinic, and we want to show you the amazing changes that happened. So come follow me. I'm going to be having you meet Dr. Kuzminski next. Hello! So this is the new space and we just love it. So after check-in, you come in. Bathroom right here if you need to use that. We walk down this bright but vibrant hallway. We have four new exam rooms where we can take care of routine high-risk obstetrics, well woman exams, postmenopausal exams, any female exam can happen in any of these four rooms. They are all the same. Um, equipment, bed, private position. But we love it and we're super excited about it. And so my partner, Dr. Roland, will show you the procedure rooms. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Roland. Let's go check out our procedure rooms. We have two procedure rooms. Both procedure rooms are set up with a large barricade door so we can accommodate wheelchairs and stretchers if need be. In the procedure room, we'll be doing our procedures such as colposcopy, cervical biopsies, um, other procedures which may require a little anesthesia, um, any little minor surgical procedures here in the office. They're also just a larger room, so if we have a patient that's brought in from a nursing home on a stretcher or a wheelchair, we can even see routine exams in these rooms. The beds will be electronic, raise up, and re repositional for our patients. Thanks for joining us on this tour. We're excited to show you our new facility and look forward to you joining us here in the clinic. Well, thank you so much for joining us for our tour of our new clinic. We're very, very excited to have this here, and we're also really excited to have our new providers here. Um, to introduce them quickly to you, we have Dr. Chris Minsky, Dr. DeMichael, and Dr. Roland. Um, we wanted to take a, a quick moment and ask each of you a question, but before you get to the question, I want you guys to say something about yourselves and introduce yourselves a little bit to those that are viewing. Um, Dr. DeMichael, we'll go ahead and start with you. Okay. Um, what are some of the services that are offered here at this new clinic? So we are a full OBGYN practice. We cover everything from normal pregnancies to high-risk pregnancies, and we cover the full spectrum of gynecological care and any issues that may develop from that. We see girls as young as teenage to all the way past menopause into the elderly stage. So there's pretty much everything that you can think of for a gynecological issue, we cover. Okay. And it's, as well be. <laughs> and something about yourself. Um, well, I just moved here about four months, well, no, probably about six months now from the Nampa Boise area where we're probably for the past six years. Um, Dr. Roland and I used to work together in North Carolina and I came here for a uh, kind of the beautiful parts of Idaho and to live here in Pocatello because it's just honestly a wonderful place to live. And I have three young boys and my husband keeps them busy when I'm working, but we have a lot of fun here. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, Dr. Roland, uh, we'll jump to you. Um, with this being a new clinic, maybe talk to us a little bit about some of the uniqueness and some of the things um, that someone could find here. One thing I find unique about this practice is that we are truly a group practice. Our obstetric patients rotate through all three providers. Even the gynecologic patients are able to see any provider if your provider is out of town or on call with another patient, any provider will step in and take care of them. It's true group collaborative effort to provide the optimum care for the patient. Okay. And something interesting about yourself you'd like to share with us? Well, I was really attracted to the area for the outside beauty as well as the opportunity to start up a new practice and lead the growth and take care of the women of Southeast Idaho. Dr. Krasminski. Um, something obviously we'd like to hear and learn from you, but also we would like to learn if someone needs to schedule an appointment, um, how can they do that? Sure. Um, so we recently, uh, six months ago, relocated from Tennessee, so my family and I are still adjusting to cold weather. Um, so we have had a lot of fun. We went snowmobiling last weekend. We plan to go snowshoeing, but we really like being outdoors and um, we are actually hoping for more snow. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting. Yes. Um, as far as making an appointment, it's very easy. Um, you can schedule that online if that is more convenient for you. You can call the front office and schedule an appointment. We offer evening hour, hours, after hours um, appointments as well. Um, so if it's hard to find childcare, you need to wait for your husband to get home from work, or you work yourself, um, then we have that available for you. 
So before we let you go, one last thing that we'd like to ask you, um, do each of you have, or would each of you please give a piece of medical advice to help women prioritize their health in 2021? Dr. Krasminski, we'll go ahead and start with you. Yeah, because my mask is off. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I would say definitely make an appointment. Take time to prioritize, prioritize your health um, that you may have been putting off because of the pandemic. Okay, great. Dr. Michael. Um, along those same lines, I know as women talking to a number of my patients, a lot of times we put off our health because we're concerned about others. And I just want to make the point that it's important to take care of yourself first so that you can be there for everybody else. And I'd echo what Dr. DeMichael said. Oftentimes women are making sure their kids have their appointments and their needs are met. But also I'd encourage our patients to look, look out for their pa um, the parents. I had a patient recently who asked if her mother who was in her late 60s still need to be seen a gynecologist. She probably hadn't seen one in over 20 years. And so that opened the opportunity for her to establish care. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Well, there's some tips for you. Um, thank you to each of you for taking time to, to instruct and, and show us your new clinic. And we look forward to seeing you here.